You know, I tell people all the time to follow their heart. I tell them all the time to challenge themselves, to not be comfortable. Don't do something that's easy. Don't do something that isn't going to make you, you know, a better person or, or a stronger person or, you know, something that you, you think you can't do. And that's what I'm doing. My whole dream of a professional athlete was um, Um, to bum on my ass, and I did that, and I think everything else has been a bonus. I'm always testing myself. You know, I'm always from one thing to the next to, to just challenge myself and test myself, and this, this is what it is. some ups and you're gonna have some downs most people give up on themselves easily you know the human spirit is powerful there's nothing as powerful it's hard to kill the human spirit anybody can feel good when they have their health their bills are paid they have happy relationships anybody can be positive then anybody can have a larger vision then anybody can have faith under those kinds of circumstances The real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. It takes courage to act. Part of being hungry when you've been defeated, it takes courage to start over again. Fear kills dreams. Fear kills hope. Fear put people in the hospital. Fear can age you, can hold you back from doing something that you know within yourself that you're capable of doing, but it will paralyze you. Every day you say no to your dreams, you might be pushing your dreams back a whole six months, a whole year. That one single day, that one day you didn't get up could have pushed your stuff back I don't know how long. Don't allow your emotions to control you. We are emotional, but you want to begin to discipline your emotion. If you don't discipline and contain your emotions, they will use you. You want it, and you're going to go all out to have it. It's not going to be easy when you want to change. It's not easy. If, if it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out. I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. I'm coming back. And I'll be stronger and better because of it. You have got to make a declaration. This is what you stand for. You're standing up for your dreams. You're standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. Take full responsibility for your life. Accept where you are and the responsibility that you're going to take yourself where you want to go. You can decide that I'm going to live each day as if it were my last. Live your life with passion. With some drive. Decide that you're going to push yourself. The last chapter to your life has not been written yet and it doesn't matter about what happened yesterday. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is what are you going to do about it? and hopefully playing the NFL one day. That's the challenge I've set myself, you know, and I had to decide whether it was based on emotion or whether it was based on passion, heart, and, and whatnot.
night and I think I realised that it was the other way around. Emotion was keeping me in rugby league. You know, I didn't feel like it was challenging me to the point where I'll, I'll now be challenged. I didn't feel like it was pulling me and, and testing me the way that you know, I now endeavour to be challenged and, and, and tested.